hurricane season, we're already starting to see some activity in the tropics. That is right. We have two areas that we're watching, one closer to Texas, and then we could see some impacts for us here in South Florida and the state of Florida, really. So last week we had a lot of rainfall, so we could see a weak system bringing even more rainfall here. So let's talk about the both of them just briefly, though. The one in Texas does have a higher likelihood of developing, and the area that we're watching just to the north of the Bahamas, which will be a favorable area, has a very low chance of developing over the next several days, but something we'll continue to monitor across the entire state. Now, some of the given will be we are looking at some rough seas. We're going to look at those waves picking up anywhere up to five to maybe 10 feet well offshore, given the development of this tropical entity there that we're going to be watching over the next couple of days. And then on top of that, we're still looking at some gusty conditions kicking in tomorrow all the way through your Friday. Now, as we take a look at our future track model, we're running the GFS model, the American model. We start to see a little bit more of definition of a system there just to the north of the Bahamas. And as we get closer to your Tuesday, Wednesday, we could see maybe an area of low pressure just off to our east. So that's why we know those winds again will be picking up just a little bit and also those waves will also enhance as well and on top of that we're going to be entering into a full moon so our tides could run a little bit higher full moon will be the june 21st if any impacts it'll be on this th upcoming thursday june 20th so that's something we're going to be monitoring here across the state of florida so right now we can't pinpoint exactly who will see the most rainfall but keep in mind last week was a very very wet week so any more rain that we see in saturated spots could lead to the potential of some more flooding the other area that we're Watching in the Gulf of Mexico, we're going to see the Hurricane Hunters investigating this tomorrow. It will be the first missions for the Hurricane Hunters into a tropical system. Again, it does have a better chance of developing as it enters into the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. This will not impact us here in Florida. You can see those rainfall totals picking up anywhere up to 5 to 8, even 10 inches of rainfall there across portions just to the south of Houston, right around Corpus Christi. Even looking at that rainfall reaching as far west as Lubbock to Midland, Texas from this tropical system. Back here in Florida, though, again, we can't quite pinpoint exactly. Yesterday, the models were showing the heaviest of rain near Jacksonville, right now Central Florida. So something, again, we're going to be watching day to day to get you the best idea on how to prepare for this. So right now, temperatures gradually cooling when we have more clouds, more wind, and more rainfall. Thursday going with the impact weather there for that date. Tropical moisture, again, that we could see moving in. Other than that, we start to see our more summer-like pattern returning by Friday into the following weekend. So here's a look at the radar. A couple spotty showers right along Okeechobee, everywhere also looking good, nice and dry. Can't roll up. Maybe a stray shower near the coastal areas this evening, but most of us will not be seeing that rain. As we head into your Monday morning, a couple onshore showers to start off the day by the afternoon. We could see maybe a stray shower too, but Monday also looking to be a very dry day, kind of similar to what we have going on right now. Tuesday, a couple more showers building in throughout the mid-morning, all throughout your afternoon. So more on the hit or miss scale there. So definitely prepare to see some quick moving downpours rolling in from the Atlantic. Another look at that 70 forecast there for you. We have 90s through your Tuesday, upper 80s Wednesday, impact weather Thursday. Again, we're going to keep an eye on that tropical system that could develop in the upcoming days. We'll give you the best idea of what we can expect. But for now, something we're going to be watching very closely for you. Also, Thursday is the first official day of summer.